Hey guys, this is Stinger from the Ghost Squadron Airsoft team, and in this video I'm going to talk about motors and how they relate to automatic electric guns. A motor is defined as a machine which converts some form of energy into mechanical energy. In the case of an AEG, motors convert electrical energy to mechanical energy using the properties of electromagnetism. Obviously, this makes it one of the most important components in an AEG. There are two types of electrical motors, alternating current and direct current. Because brushless AC motors haven't yet advanced to mainstream use in AEGs, they will not be discussed in this video. This video will instead focus on brushed DC motors. Motors have three main components, the armature, the can, and the end bell. The end bell caps the top of the motor off and holds the tabs for electrical power supply to the motor. It also holds the motor brushes, which facilitate electricity delivery to the armature. Over time, these brushes wear down and may need to be replaced. Also, the springs which press them towards the armature can become bent, preventing a solid connection to the armature. The armature is the moving component of the motor and is also referred to as the rotor. It consists of a shaft, bundle of copper windings, and a commutator. The commutator contacts the brushes of the end bell and is present to periodically reverse electrical current so that torque may be generated. It applies electricity directly to the windings, which then generate an electromagnetic field. The can of the motor holds a set of stationary permanent magnets, typically either ferrous or neodymium. These magnets interact with the electromagnetic field generated by the armature windings. Essentially, the armature pulls itself around in a circle using the permanent magnets as handholds. This generates torque, spinning the armature, allowing torque to be output through the shaft. In an AEG, the shaft has a gear attached at the bottom end. This gear is called the pinion gear and interfaces with the bevel gear, allowing energy to move from the motor into the gearbox. Performance of an AEG is very dependent on the motor of that AEG. Motors can be optimized to provide extra torque or extra rotational velocity. The type of stationary magnets in the motor has the greatest impact on its performance. In general, you should always use a motor that has neodymium magnets rather than ferrous magnets. Neo magnets are far stronger and will provide more torque and more rotational velocity. Next to the stationary magnets, the armature has the largest performance impact. Specifically, the number of copper windings on the armature determines torque and rotational velocity generated. This number is referred to as turns per armature, or TPA. A motor with more TPA will generate more torque, while a motor with less TPA will generate more rotational velocity. However, it will also be less efficient, losing energy in the form of heat. I don't ever like to use low TPA motors, even in high rate of fire builds. While they can spin very fast, they lack torque, and therefore take time to spool up to full speed, and they do not provide a good trigger response. Yep, with you. Balanced motors have 16 TPA. However, many companies such as Lonex and Matrix use 16 TPA motors in their high torque line. These motors have very powerful neomagnets and are well engineered to provide torque even at the lower TPA at the cost of being less efficient with power consumption. Companies such as ZCI, JG, and SHS provide high torque motors with strong neomagnets and high TPAs, typically in the 22 TPA range. These are very efficient motors that provide great torque. For applications which require more torque, there is the Franken torque motor. It's not really a motor, but more of a mod consisting of the combination of a strong stationary neomagnet can and a very high TPA armature. While having a slow rotational velocity, these motors output extreme amounts of torque and are very power efficient. Yes, which is never. When installing a box when viewing it from behind. Another consideration is the pinion gear. Pinion gears have two variations. O-type and D-type. This describes the way that they interface with the motor shaft. D-type pinions have a shape cut into them that looks like a D where the shaft fits, and they have a friction screw which holds them in. O-type pinions have a circular shape into which the motor shaft fits. Obviously, the type of pinion gear that you need to use is dependent on the type of shaft that the motor has. If it has a D-type shaft, you need a D-type pinion gear. Hopefully, this video gave you a better understanding of how motors function in AEGs. 
If you have any recommendations for future tech video topics, please mention them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.